Today we're going to be taking a look at question number 13 from the J Advance paper in 2024 on paper one and this is on the mathematics section. Now this comes as part of my series where I'm basically just looking at exams from across the world in many different years and finding some really nice maths problems and answering them on this channel. Thank you so much for all the comments I've had telling me what exams to do. If you have any other recommendations, then let me know in the comments. But without further ado, let's take a look at this question. Cool, so this is the question. It says, let x be a random variable and let p of x, big X, equal lowercase x, denote the probability that x takes the value x. Suppose that the points, so we have x and p of x equals x, for x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, all lie on a fixed straight line in the xy plane. Now we're also told that p of x equals x equals 0 for all x in reals without 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, then it says if the mean of x is this and the variance of x is alpha, then the value of 24 alpha is and we have to find that out. So one of the first things that we're told is this statement here, basically saying that the points lie on a fixed straight line. Now we know that the equation for a fixed straight line is y equals mx plus c, but because we have y here as p of x equals x, we can substitute this in and say, okay, well, this is the same as p of x equals x equals mx plus c. Okay, so what we can do with this is we can figure out what the value for c is by noting that we're told that we have x equals 0. So let's just substitute x equals 0 into here. We end up with p of x equals 0 equals 0 plus c, which implies that c is p of x equals 0, or we can write this in shorthand as p of 0. Okay, so we have found what c is, which is going to help us going forward for this question but then we can extend this and say well now we know what c is we can write a formula for p of x equals x for these different numbers so we can say that because we know that they're on a fixed straight line we can say that p of x equals x equals now we're told that for these numbers it lies on a fixed straight line in the xy plane so we can write the formula for a straight line in the xy plane which would be m x plus c but we know what c is it's p of zero so we can write that there and that's for x in zero to four because we're told that here but we're told that outside of that range p of x equals zero so we can write p of x equals zero here and we'll put otherwise okay so now we have this formula for p of x, which is great. We can now start playing around with some of the other, you know, the additional features that we're told. So something that should come to you almost kind of straight away, away really is we're looking at probabilities. And so one of the first things we look at with probabilities is we know that when you add probabilities up, they must equal one. So by probability laws, we know that p of zero plus p of 1, plus p of 2, plus p of 3, plus p of 4, must all equal 1. Okay, now we can substitute in the values for these because we can literally just substitute x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on into here. Well, this equals, so p of 0 would just be p of 0. p of 1 would be m plus p of 0, plus, now, we, we, for the sake of the video, I'm going to write all this out, but hopefully in the exam you will know, okay, I can just simplify all this and just say, okay, well, we have 10m plus 5p of 0, but just for the sake of the video, I'll, I'll write it out. So we have another 2m plus p of 0 plus 3m plus p of 0 plus 4m plus p of 0 equals 1. And so from this, we can say that 5p of 0 plus 10m equals 1. So there's our first equation. Now, the next thing that we're told in the question is that the mean of x is 5 over 2. We write that we're told that the mean of x, so this is given by x p of x. So it's a summation of x p of x from x equals 0 to 4 
Now we're told that that's five over two. Okay, now we can do a very similar thing to what we did before, substitute in each of the values for x equals zero to four. And when you do that, what you find is 30m plus 10p of zero equals five over two, which is great. So we have this new formula. We have this one here and this one here. They're both in terms of p of zero and m, so we can basically take these two simultaneous equations and figure out, figure out what m equals and what p equals. Now I'm gonna leave that as an exercise to the reader because it's, yeah, it's quite simple. Um, but what you do is I'll just say one, two, um, calculate m and p zero from one and two. What we find is m is one over 20 and p of zero is one over 10. Okay, lovely. So we've used the definition that, you know, by probability definitions that the summation of all the probabilities must equal one. And we've used what we've been told in the question, which is that the mean is five over two to get these two equations here. And then we've used simultaneous equations to calculate what m and p of zero are. Fantastic. Now, the next thing we are told is that the variance of x is alpha. So let's start writing that down variance, which we know can be given by the definition of x equals 0 to 4, and it's x squared p of x. Now it would be the mean squared here, so 5 over 2 squared. So what it's left to do with this is substitute in again. Now I'm going to just write here that note we can find, we can find that p of 1 and the way that we do this is we simply just substitute in the value for m and p0. So we find that p of x equals 1 is 3 over 20. p of x equals 2 is 4 over 20. p of x equals 3 is 5 over 20. Ooh. And p of x equals 4 is 6 over 20. So what I have to do is take these here and use them when calculating the variance. So let's just go back to the variance and we can find that this is. So let's let's just figure it out. So we have, let's do, let's start with zero. Obviously zero squared is zero, so we have nothing come from that. One squared is one, of course, and we know that P of one is three over 20. So we have three over 20. Now we have two squared is four, so we would have plus four lots of four over 20, three squared is nine, so nine lots of five over 20, plus 16 lots of six over 20, minus the five over two squared, which is coming from here. And in doing so, you find that this equals seven divided by four. Now we're told that the variance equals alpha, and so this equals alpha. So from this, what we can say is 24 alpha is 24 lots of seven divided by four. And when we do that, we find that it equals 42. So we find that 24 alpha equals 42. And that is the answer to this question, which is really, really nice. I, I really like this question. It was nice because there's kind of some really simple things like simultaneous equations and just, you know, a bit of algebra, but the kind of meaning behind the question itself is nice because it, it uses different areas within mathematics. So we have obviously probability, which is statistics, but then we have a bit of calculus with, you know, straight lines um, and stuff. So yeah, this is a, a really, really nice question. And hopefully you were able to get the same solution as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.